everyone, this is K-Short. Welcome to Phoenix Rising. Today I'm with Anthony Martinez, a.k.a. DJ Bean. What's up? Anthony Martinez, a.k.a. DJ Bean. So we met over at First Friday, just this past Friday. I was walking around, you know, doing my thing, just trying to find some talent on the street that I could interview. Came across him and his dude. They were beatboxing on the street. They had a huge crowd around them. I was like, you know what? This needs to happen. So I just walked up to him, and the moment he had a breath, I gave him my card. And I said, hey, if you want to be interviewed, come through. We'll do an interview. And now we are at Metro Center Mall. We might get in trouble, so just watch out for that. And I'm just here to ask him a couple questions and hear about his awesome life and what he's going to do with beatboxing. It all just really started in my room about five and a half years ago. I was just bored. I was playing Tetris and I got really good at Tetris. I figured I'm really good at this. What other things are Asian people stereotypically good at? And I looked up beatboxing. Uh, the first video I saw was uh, this Asian beatboxer named Daichi and he just blew my mind. Uh, I was just I was really, I couldn't do anything for like six months. I was just an enthusiast. Uh, I would try everything. I would just suck. I would just watch these video co videos constantly, day and night, until I got my first sound, uh, which is a DJ scratch, which is called a crab scratch, which is. And that's also also why I'm called DJ Bean, because that was my first sound. Uh, growing up, I hung out with a lot of white kids, and I would just make jokes about myself, saying uh, <laughs> that I'm a Mexican and I'll do your yard and whatever. And so they call me Bean, and then and I just went by DJ Bean ever since. All right. So the question is, and actually, my friend Danny actually wants to know. So do you? emulate a lot of sounds was that the start of it or now do you just create your own like how does that work out for a beatboxer at first i would emulate other sounds of like beatboxers so like monkey see monkey do it's really just like a language you just start up by saying a couple phrases percussioning it i guess and just doing it but now five and a half years later i'm starting to do all, all my new sounds and like I practice a lot more often and it's just like I create my own style which is it's really weird it's a really weird process but you know I'm getting there Well, it's really a hard question because honestly, I don't know where it's going, but we just want to have fun with it uh, as a whole community. Uh, the whole community always hangs out around the whole U.S. And we just want to bring good vibes, make people dance and just be like DJs, basically, but with our mouths. DJ Bean. And we got Kathleen back in the building. <laughs> uh, we're gonna pretend we're gonna pretend like we're leaving, but we are. We'll just go outside, pretend like something and then finish up the stove from there.